Ja. Wat bent je ook al? Uh, blue. I think blue is like general. Red is like. Oh no, I test red some games when uh, when enemy has like pretty heavy front line, but it just. I don't know. I need to look into it more how much damage it does. The stats for the pets say that they're like all good. I don't know. They all win a lot, but I don't know really. Also, I feel like a lot of games don't really get impacted by pets. I feel like most of my games are over before you finish your pets, so I don't know. And I think the games that aren't over at that point, usually what I need is blue or red. I'm not sure though. Yeah. Oh, path for top lane. I don't want to path for bot lane. Don't feel like it. My top lane has ignite and also I don't want leash though. I don't need leash. Um I feel like my gang setup in bot lane is pretty bad to say the least. Overall, not the best draft, but it's fine. See what Botlane's doing, they're getting pushed in and they're not gonna get level 2 first. That's really expected since we have NASA support and they have a Mumu. One of them does something level 1 and one of them doesn't. So, yeah. I don't know how my top lane is playing. Doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to gank really early for now. I'll probably ward while I do Raptors since I don't want any surprises on my red buff. Could already be in this bush, but it's not that likely. I think he would have to skip camps. Not sure though. Or walk up another way or something, I don't know. That's really, really unlikely. Okay, I didn't expect much from my bot lane anyway. I'm happy I didn't path for them since if I was spot side right now, I would want to be buried six feet under. Can't really contest anything. It's nice I'm here though if they tried to dive or something. Even if they traded like one for one. Or something like one for one would be mega worth for enemy there. We well, gets a free kill. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, I'm not getting the scuttle. Oh, actually maybe. Hmm, unlucky. Maybe I can kill him though. Probably can, if he doesn't like get away from us. Okay, nice. Very good. I'm not gonna go that way. I think that's a real LeBlanc. I'll just do my camps. Woodland's pretty well set up for a gank, but I'm not really gonna bother with that. I have a vision disadvantage there, so if I go there, it's very likely that I just waste my time. I shouldn't have smited the grump though, because now I have to wait for my wolves to spawn. That's a bit brain lag. I think I should probably run top after this, otherwise my jacks will solo lose the game. Because top laners who play ignite are very funny. They're very funny. Yeah, bro, I'm playing ignite top lane. Yesterday I had like the same thing, my top laner was like 300 LP and enemy top laner was 
Cell. And then my top laner had TP and my top laner had fucking Ignite. So you can already imagine how that went. Lose. Oh well. He's gonna try to keep getting to level 6. Okay. The skull is probably gone, but it's whatever. I have like some time to burn, so I'm just seeing if I can do something maybe, but no, not really. Also I get to young some XP. It's like the best case scenario for me. We get a pink, so my game is more playable. I still don't know where my top laner has Ignite, but okay. He's a top T, I guess. And top T's don't care. Maybe I can gank bot now, though. But Udyr could be bot's bot lane also. I'll pink this. Yeah, that's really good. Good timing. Yeah, this is what I mean by Udyr being here. Like he was clearing towards bot lane, so like I had to insta go, and if I make it in time, then it's really good for me because now he can't just take dragon for free. But if I made it like late, and I either had to give up the play or he countered it or something, then it would be horrible because he would just instantly get a free dragon. Also, bot lane feels like Udyr gank, yeah. Based on the way Amumu was moving, like on the minimap, I could see it was probably a gank from Udyr. I don't have level 6, but I think if I smite a minion, I can get level 6. But I don't think I can afford to do that. But I got it from this, and I don't know if they saw. Oh, I guess. Well, I have to ult. Or I don't, actually. If she did, like... Uh, now I do, anyway. He forced it with plot. That's fine, though. The thing is, I know Kalista's damage really well. Because I used to play Kalista. So... I knew she had like one more auto attack or a Q. But this champ just kills me. Well, that sucks. Oh well. I wanted to try it. But I think now they probably get Callista. No? Oh. I guess not. Yes? Kinda worth it. Me dying to support is whatever, and because of that, he's now a bigger shutdown, and also my bot lane got a kill. I don't think they could possibly kill the Callista if the Mumu didn't like ult and ignite me. I don't think it was happening. I kind of want to contest the Herald though. Ah, he just got it. That really sucks. He auto then smited. No, what? He really? What? But I saw him here. I don't know, maybe just an NPC. What the fuck? He juked us. Why does he have 7000 move speed? Boring champ, I guess. I don't know. I want to full clear now, and then my priority is gonna be to just stop that guy from using Herald in any meaningful way before plates go down. Because otherwise, I'm gonna be like 1k gold down on him. It really sucks I couldn't just smite it away from him, because he did like auto smite and he insta smited even though he didn't see me. Could have been like amazing for us. I think Graves will stay when he sees Jack stayed. I think. No, he didn't stay. But I hit him. You can kind of... Figure out where people are based on when they see you in the bush with your passive as Evelyn. 
I think going for the skull is greedy though, so I'll just stay here. I think it's way too greedy. I think Udyr is on dragon or something, or here, I don't know. I could ping from a bot, but meh. I just don't feel like it. Udyr should be around here. I don't know what he's doing, to be honest. He didn't show up yet. Okay, now he showed up. Crap. Um. Hmm. Okay. This should be... This guy shut down. I don't think he realized that. He just gave himself 600 gold. You saved the guy that was... Probably not even 300 gold, because he's like... Perma dead. And that guy's dead anyway. This is the one thing I preach on Evelyn, like... You can just... If you know you're strong, you can just invade often. Especially with ult. Not that many champs actually like hard beat you when you have ult up. Especially when you're like opening on them and they're like clearing camps or something. Oh, they're really hard. Should be a free kill. Reset. Nice. I hope I can get assist. Oh. Lucky. Wait. Oh, he got baited. Rip. No, no, no. We need to go mid. We need to go mid. We need to go mid. Fast, fast, fast. Fast, fast, fast. No, 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 fast, friend. You fucking NPC. Look, he spawns Herald, and then he just like takes like 10 plates if we don't instantly go here. Okay, I think he will go for the camp though, so I think we can maybe like kill him here. Like, but I can't face check him, so. Okay, whatever, man. But you need to like instantly run. Like, if enemy is dead and we have nothing to do, and enemy disgusting fucking Udyr runs to your lane, we have to instantly go there. Otherwise, you just get so much free gold. I hate this Udyr champ, it's so unskilled. Really disgusting. Ever since Rework, it's so broken. Ah, whatever. I think I'll do this camp and then I'll go bot. Or maybe I'll do blue also, I don't know. I get my ult, so I want to make a play with my ult. I want to like do something with my ult and then I want to just base and get my gold spent. Like right now I want to just go in. Oh, my bad on the key U. If I hit that, I think she just dies. She could have flashed earlier though and she would live anyway. I think Woodier comes, yeah. LeBlanc is also here though. Kinda wanna hide. Okay, getting charm on him also. I can ult him for damage. And I think I should do dragon before I base. Mm, yeah. They'll probably get second herald because I do dragon, but I think it's worth it. Pretty good dragon for me. Also, I don't care that much if Udyr gets gold now because I'm stomping him too hard. So I don't care that much. Let's see. I want Rocket and Magi's off this base. And then after Rocket and Magi's, all I need is level 11 and I'm basically Exodia. I'll do like a few points in W, a few points in E. Give me this and this and this. I can actually contest, I think. But the only issue is that... I mean... I know mid laner went bot, so maybe I can contest. Because... I'm not sure, though. 
Because enemy mid isn't here, but the issue is that enemy Amumu could be here, and then I'll have to flash out. I think. This is really scary, kinda. I don't have ult. Yeah. I would insta run if they came, honestly. But I don't think we know where Mumu is. I think if I was Woody, I would just like try to force somehow and like just bluff that the Mumu's there. Even if he isn't. I don't want to go for this guy actually. I just want level 11. I'll give Brett to my ADC, but I don't care. I'm taking the wave for that. For the... For the red buff that she's gonna take. Since I don't really want to lose out on anything. They died, which sucks, but... What the fuck, man? Hmm, I missed my Q. And she missed her W, so he didn't take enough damage to die. And also I'm not 11, so my ult does zero damage. I thought maybe she finishes him if I ult. So I just ulted for damage. But didn't work out that way this time. It's probably gone, yeah. I should get 11 of this. No, oh my god. 4 XP. Okay. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, I got 11. But I don't have my ult, so... It's not like it matters too much. Okay, cool. I'll spawn Herald since enemy mid is 1 HP and enemy top died. I'll give him vision. Farm him. Don't stay too close, but don't go too far. I want to kill him, but I don't want to get into lethal range where I'm almost stun will kill me. Again, people typing. Lovely. Every game, typing, typing, typing. Ah, so disgusting, man. I need to back off. Kinda want to just one-shot Callista with my ult. Yeah, that's good. I think we could have turned a bit more, but that's fine. I want to take some camps now as payment for my ult and for enemy ADC misplaying. I'll take this real quick. I think the blast coins would be up. No, it's not. I guess I have to flash then. Oh well. Never mind. I mean, it was greedy to take Grump. I should have just not taken Grump. It was in. This enemy obviously realized. I think void means that someone was in that bush. I don't know why. This guy took my. Hey, are we like taking every camp now or what? Friends. Friends, buddies, pals, whatever, I'll base. Ah, I can't get to my item anyway. Actually, I'll just go... I think I can afford to go Banshees. Never mind, instant regret. I should have just gone fucking Ravens. The reason is because my fucking team is so... NPC, I realized just now. 0-2, oh, 2-3. I mean, my Kaisa's doing fine. My Nasus, but my top side. But we were doing a bit better than this. Hmm, I wanted to chunk one of them. But it didn't work out that way. That guy must be in that bush. Yeah. This should be a free chunk. Actually, even a kill. I'm 
mostly just go Banshee whenever my team is like doing fine, or if it's like really unplayable without Banshee, but I think this game is playable without Banshee. I just went because I thought my team was doing a bit better than they are. Should be fine enough though. Okay, somehow that happened. Okay. I won't get either one, that's the funny thing. Actually I do. I thought she would have W again. Oh. Surprising. Okay, they got Baron. Good. Take enemy camps again. There's no way I'm killing this guy. Take a wave. This is something a lot of Evelyn's refuse to do. Take wave. But you should take wave on every jungle. Because you can get so ahead from taking waves. I want 2500. So I can get my... I double needlessly. Actually, I mean, they're buying a Mar, kinda. Let's go Void Stuff. I don't want to insta buy Void Stuff if I buy it. I kind of like buying Banshee with Void Stuff. Or, well, Banshee and then Void Stuff because they're both like really cheap and then I end up on my item spikes pretty fast. <laughs> Though it's just a smaller spike than Robidon's, so. I don't know. I'll take another wave. So let us push then, so we can rotate for the Herald whenever we want. I think there. Okay, bro. Your champ is very balanced. If you want damage item, I would have to ult like a second earlier. That's so funny. But he only went work for damage. Well, I don't think this is fightable, I'll be honest with you guys, friends, pals. I have to keep in mind Graves has Hex Drinker. I'm definitely not fighting him. I can't buff this wave though, so it's annoying for him to clear it. So I have nothing better to do. I'm just waiting for minions so I can get Void. Should get it now. Would be preferable if I also got a pink Void, but it's not working out that way. So whatever. I think I'll prioritize hitting their backline and then the moon will die naturally. That guy still has X Drinker, so. Or will actually pull Moss, so there's no reason to get baited into thinking that I can kill him. But now I can, because he walked up again after my combo is up again. He doesn't have crawlers, so. He can't really reach me. Fight it. I don't think we're. Are we? Actually, we can maybe end. Probably not, though. I think we have to, like, kill them again to end. Oh, Zed is TPing in. Never mind, then. Actually, we just end. Never mind. We didn't even have to kill them. Let's see. 
think I'm over 200 now again. I was griefing a bit on this account. But. Now we're over 200 again. 